You're like out of frame though. The way that you're like. It's because you always try to frame yourself first. Yeah, because I'm important. Okay, don't you're drink You're always like, you yet. like tilt it like. I'm like, why are you in it? You like, you're like fully in frame and I'm like, I'm not in it because the camera's not on me, dipshit. Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you guys have already been here before. Today we are going to be doing, I don't know what day of Vlogmas this is, but it's insert day here, I'll write it at the bottom. Day of Vlogmas. We're gonna be trying the winter holiday flavors of the Starbucks drinks. So we each got a large in the peppermint mocha because that is the one that we've obviously already tried and it's our favorite. So we got a large because we knew that we liked it and I had two free drinks at Starbucks. Hey, did you Shout really? out Starbucks, yeah I did. Heck yeah. Yeah, I love Starbucks. I'm like, <coughs> sponsor me. <coughs> free coffee. <coughs> Dude, I could speed drink these. I know, they're so good. So the peppermint mocha is our favorite, so we both got larges. He prefers the hot, I prefer the frappuccino. I like, I'm not a hot beverage person, so when I get coffee, I am a very hot beverage person. So based on the recommendation of the very friendly barista who was working today, I wish I would have caught her name. Maybe it says it on the cup. Um, nope, doesn't say who made it. No, her well, name's Cafe. Oh well. Shout out to you, girl. You know who you are. It keeps getting really dark in here. That's not very cool. Um, shout out to you, girl. You know who you are. But she recommended certain drinks that we have hot and certain drinks that we do frappuccino style. Caramel brulee latte. Want to try it first? Yes. While you try those, I'm going to put straws in these ones. So that's the caramel brulee. So kind of a holiday beverage, but in my opinion, not really a holiday beverage. This is like one of the most underwhelming drinks I've ever had in my life. Really? Is it just like plain? Sorry. Is it Starbucks. like caramel? Taste it. I like that. Well, that explains a lot. I'm boring. What can I say? I don't know. I like that. I don't see any problem with it. Yeah, but it's not like, wow. I can't wait for this. This one is the iced chestnut latte. Gross. Yeah, is that what it is? Chestnut? I guess chestnut. Careful, because these lids feel like they're about to pop off. You might have to stir it a little. I feel like my AC is going to make this video so loud. I actually like that one. That one's like I'm sitting in an airport early trying to catch a, a flight for my business trip and it's Christmas time mm. and I'm sad that I have to work while my family is at home celebrating the Christmas spirit. That makes me feel like I'm in a Hallmark movie. Wow. I really like that. That should be their tagline. This drink will make you feel like you're in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Do you like my analysis of drinks? It's yeah. very in-depth. That's nice. It has like a <laughs> smoky... Yeah, I like that one a lot. It has like smokiness. This one is the toasted white mocha. Which I feel like I've had it before. It sounded really familiar when she said that. Because I I've obviously when I went in, I didn't know what all the holiday beverages were. I was like, I want one of each of the holiday beverages. I don't like the aftertaste of this one. But other than that, it's okay. So keep in mind, too, you can get like hot iced frappuccino of all of these, she said. Maybe I do like nice things. Maybe I've been lying to myself. Wow, that's really sweet. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, the aftertaste is not that good. That's weird. It's not, it's not a bad aftertaste. It's really not bad. It doesn't taste like, ugh. It just is like not, Yeah. it's underwhelming, I would say. Yeah. I agree. So this is the one that I've been wanting to try the most because I'm obsessed. I love eggnog and this is the eggnog frappuccino. Mm. So it's like an eggnog latte frappuccino. And I'm really excited so I'm going to try it first. Okay. If that's okay. Alright. Give your best analysis of it. Oh yeah. This drink is like... We about to get litty. And I think Auntie Jamie is gonna, you know, spike a little vodka in there. 
That's like perfect. Christmas morning, you can't deal with your family shenanigans. Go to Starbucks, grab one of these guys, take a little drink out of it, top it off with some vodka, and it almost tastes like I'm eating go. a pine tree. It's not pine tree; it's eggnog. Pine tree is like spearmint. Yeah, it's got like a spearminty. It, it, it doesn't like, taste like mint at all. It's because you're drinking the peppermint mocha. No, this seriously, like when I sip it, it tastes like what are like you even I'm eating about? the the pines off of a Christmas tree. No, don't diss my drink. I like this drink. <laughs> don't drink it if you don't like it. See how dark it is? It's because I'm so pale. The, ca the wow. camera's getting confused. Also, my shirt is just falling off of me, so that's Yeah, I don't great. like the eggnog frap. Well, save it for me. If you like eggnog, you're gonna like the eggnog frappuccino. It literally tastes exactly like eggnog. I did not like these ones as much as the autumn ones, the fall ones. Really? Nope. What was your favorite fall? I don't remember. All I remember is that there were some bomb ass fall ones, some pumpkin spice, whatever, and I forget. But I remember having a better feeling after drinking those ones than I do with these ones. I'm gonna hate myself if I move my chair back and it makes the camera better. Do you see how? <laughs> I literally can't touch the pedal if I move it back. Oh, Maybe I feel like I that's much better. Too. Oh, we definitely should have filmed like this. Yeah, I don't know why you were doing that. It's so much brighter this way. How wow, this guy I hate myself. Class. Like, I'm wait, fat, okay, but wait. at least I don't have fat ankles. Okay, wait, they're called cankles, excuse you? Yeah, and you're not even fat and you got cankles. <laughs> just, That's me. Just a joke. My ankles and my you don't have that big. My calves, my that ankles guy. and my calves have always been really large, like my whole life. Gosh. I remember these guys probably don't even remember it. I have like a major insecurity, and the shitty thing is that the guys who made me insecure probably don't even know that it affected me throughout my entire life. Call them out. But literally, no, I'm not out. gonna give their names. That's mean. Cause they, right, it Robert. probably was. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Okay, What's don't actually you? say that because I knew a Robert at Robert, this time and it wasn't I mean, him. Don't make fun it of It wasn't you. Angles. It wasn't you. But there were kids in my class, like some boys in my class, and I remember us like changing out for PE and like we had to wear like basketball shorts and like I remember like stretching out and I was like stretching out my calf and I was sitting on the floor like grabbing my foot. They were like, whoa, your ankles are no, fat. No, it wasn't that. This guy came up and he was like, oh, Jamie's got man legs. And then I was like, ah, I have man legs. And then for the rest of my life, so if you're watching this and you remember this instance, just know that you made me insecure about my legs for my entire Robert, life. Robert, I was joking. So John, how could you do that? Oh, well. Okay, wait. So rank them from most favorite to least favorite. All right, the chestnut one. No, you're not even ranking the peppermint mocha. One. Peppermint mocha. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me try yours. Mm -mm. Oh, why? Let me have a fucking <coughs> sip. Ow. Good. <laughs> yeah, that brings out way too much peppermint. I like it. Ugh. But I'm also the person that like, you know this, that I sit there and he'll buy me like boxes upon boxes upon boxes of candy canes for Christmas. And I just sit there and nom on them all day long. You know what she does that really fucking irks the shit out of me? You know Exposed. those lifesaver mints? Exposed! She'll get like a bag, like the big bag. Like I'm talking like the 9.99 bag of lifesaver mints and eat them all in one day. And then now nah, that's not even the worst part. She throws her wrappers around the room and never picks them up. That's not true. Uh, now that we live where we live now, I do pick them up and I don't throw them on the floor. I set them gently in a pile on the bed next to me. And then at the end of the day, I compile the pile and then I walk my happy ass to the kitchen trash. You don't have to say compile the pile. Yeah, you I need do. to say compile the but trash. But I like it. I like compile the pile. <laughs> That's a why. It makes me happy. <laughs> so anyways, I would say peppermint mocha is number one. If you don't put your stopper in between drinks. I don't care. Okay, that's peppermint is one. What's your next? The chestnut. Uh, chestnut praline. Praline is my number two. Mm -hmm. And then everything else is dog shit. I think it's like all the worst. 
<laughs> Starbucks, I'm so sorry. I do not affiliate myself with this person. And I don't, it's, I'm not just saying it because I actually really like Starbucks. I'm just saying like. They're just not your favorite. I would not. You wouldn't order them. If someone was like, what do you want from Starbucks? You wouldn't be like, oh, get me this. If you paid me 50 bucks, I wouldn't take a drink out of the other three. That's literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard because you literally just did. You just drank them for free. Literally. Yeah, I know, but it was for free. Exactly. I didn't okay. know I was not going to like them. I think my favorite, obviously, peppermint mocha is number one. I would say eggnog is probably number two. I, I, I don't know. I'm. It's hard. I would say the eggnog and the chestnut praline are tied for a second for me because I feel like it depends on what I'm like in what mood I'm in if I'm in the mood for something like really really sweet then I would get the eggnog because eggnog is kind of sweet eggnog. but if I was in the mood for something like I just need something to like get me up and go or maybe like a midday coffee or like a very early morning coffee I would probably do the chestnut praline because I really liked that one. The caramel brulee is more of like a nighttime vibe for me. That's something that I would get like if we were going to stay at, ooh, I'm going to set the tone real quick, set the mood, set the vibe. <coughs> Imagine this, you're however old you are, you've got three kids or however many kids you got, it's Christmas Eve. You tucked the kids into bed and now you and your husband or your significant other I say husband because he'll be my husband. Uh, you and your significant other are going to have to stay up all night and wrap the Christmas presents. You're gonna have to stay up all night and wrap Christmas presents and get the or house you ready. Do it like once every night. No, I'm setting the scene. I'm setting the scene. Like a normal human. I'm setting thing. the scene. You're gonna have to stay up all night with your significant other, and you're gonna watch a bunch of Christmas movies, and you're gonna wrap all the presents for your cute little family. You're gonna have a little fireplace, and if you don't have an actual fireplace, you're gonna pull up a fireplace on your laptop, and you're gonna have a pretend fireplace, and you're gonna drink that drink. That's what the caramel brulee latte is. It's like kind of a Christmas vibe, but like not too Christmassy to like overwhelm the scenario. But it's just, a, it's, it's just a taste. It's just a little vibe. I don't see that with that drink. What's this one? Oh, and the toasted white mocha. The toasted white mocha, it's good. I don't feel like it's a holiday drink. Because it's, I feel like it should have been like toasted marshmallow. But like toasted white mocha, it's kind of like. How do you toast a marshmallow? What do you mean? You light it on fire. Yeah, but then that's burnt. No, it's not. You can toast a marshmallow without burning it. Just like you can cook an egg without frying it. Ooh, good point. I know. Oh. Dude, do you see how dark it just got again? I know, that's what I was just thinking. Fuck you and your white face. <laughs> I literally make the screen black. Oh my god. You can't see me at all. <laughs> Anytime I want to dominate the scene of the, the video, I'm just like, What's up, guys? Oh, wait. Wow, well, now we're both invisible. No, if I do it over here, it'll bring the light back. Yay! Hi, guys. Just pale girl things. Ugh. Your car's so small, when I move it, I, like, shake the whole thing. No, overall, okay, it was like, you know, I only like two out of the six drinks, but hey. Well, I liked all of them. I would definitely drink them again, and we're definitely going to drink them again, because these are going promptly in the fridge when we get home. The only thing that I would say, and, you know... Not that Starbucks is ever going to see this video, but if they did, if by some chance somebody who has any sway in Starbucks at all, hear me out. Come up with an alternative whipped cream that is non-dairy. Please. I feel like so many other coffee shops have done it and it just makes it like so much easier. Like I've said before, I'm not vegan. I used to be. You're not vegan? Not anymore. I'm not vegan anymore. I used to be for a little while. It just wasn't, it's not like easy. <laughs> well, yeah. So I quit. <laughs> but I feel like one of the biggest struggles is being able to go to like a coffee shop or like a chain restaurant or like a, you know, wherever, and you're not able to get the things that you could get at home. Like, I wanna get whipped cream. 
If you don't provide non-dairy whipped cream, then it makes it hard because some people who are non-dairy, they can order the non-dairy milk, but then they just have to miss out on the whipped cream. And like, I love whipped cream. So it made me sad when I was vegan. I just always had to go without the whipped cream. And then I was sad. And I was like, why? I don't want to have no whipped cream. I want to have whipped cream. Sure. Dude, did you know that a lot of people think that we're actually engaged? Oh, really? And that we just never said anything? That's like a big I mean, thing. People like message me all the time. They're like, aren't you engaged? I'm like, no. We're like practically Trust common me, law. bitch. If I was engaged, you would know. We're like a pretty much common law right now. No, we're not. We haven't lived together for that long. Is that bug on the inside or the outside? Outside. Okay. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope that this video is helpful to some of you because I know that sometimes it's like, I don't know if you're like me, but like when I go somewhere and there's a new thing, sometimes I don't want to try it because I don't know what it's going to taste like. But now you know what they're going to taste like because we just told you. And as always, feel free to, you know, DM me with questions or comments or anything. Concerns. And, yeah, concerns. <laughs> I'm really like, concerned. I'm very concerned about you. That's it. And thanks for watching. And leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And happy whatever day of Vlogmas. Okay, why was I like... Bye! Okay, bye!